Broski Broskies, this is Zach Cloud, or No Sun, and I am back with more of my Plants vs. Zombies No Sun Flowers slash Sun Shrooms speedrun. Not speedrun, challenge run. Ah, too much of a uh, tongue twister. Evening, No Sun. See, we are in a night level now where there's zero sun from the sky. These zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you get yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can and you'll be A-O good. Those sun shroom or er, puff shrooms will be how I survive. This is pretty much it. This is pretty much all I get. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself an emergency walnut just in case, or a potato mine, since I can afford two of these or one of these, because I get 50 sun. And that is it. Everything else I'm just putting on there for the heck of it, because, because, to fill up space. Warning! Now it's nighttime, you need sunflowers more than ever! Are you sure you want to play the level without them? Yes. It's so desperate! That <laughs> cease to exist. Sometimes there's really funny little messages on these, uh, uh, gravestones. Ah, oh boy. Yep, I gotta set these up as much as I can. As quickly as I can. This is a case where instead of waiting for the zombies, uh, you want to start setting them up as much as you can everywhere. At least they recharge pretty fast, so that makes it a viable option. Ooh, yeah, I better go ahead and set up two in a row here. Almost got basic coverage. Alright. Yep, they're short range, so you'll notice that the zombie has to get pretty close before they start shooting it. And lots of the time they can get to them and start eating them. So, yep, we gotta be careful here. Gotta try to set up multiple layers of defense. I like to start them f Ooh, two at once? That's unusual this early, but I think we can take them. That body is in the way a little. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, good. Boy, they're coming on pretty thick here. We'll get them, we'll get them. Ooh, save up money to purchase cool stuff. Got our first coin. Uh, that's the other economy in this game. But most of the things that we can buy in the store are things like extra slots or super expensive plants, which, yeah, we won't be using much of. So, but still, it's nice to get the money and it gives you something to do while you're waiting on plants and stuff. See, that's the thing. This game makes sure that you stay entertained no matter what you're doing. Because it gives you plenty of things to do. Like, even while your defenses are doing good, you still uh, have coins to collect and stuff once in a while. Um, I, I realized that... Uh, oh, ooh, gold coins are worth even more. Nice. I realized that uh, in my uh, Quick Place Blocks uh, episode recently, I was talking about what kind of cars that I liked, and uh, I forgot to mention that I like old cars as well as uh, sport cars, muscle cars, things like that that are modern. Uh, I really like old cars. Oh, see you know, these graves, they pop out of the graves. So, having grapes there is bad. Now later on, they give you a plant that you, that can eat the graves. Oh, and I forgot to mention something. I'll mention it later. Uh, you 
probably already noticed it though. But yeah, the Grave Eater though, they cost 75 sun, which I'm not going to be able to have in each level, so I'm just going to have to bear with these graves. Sun Shrooms! Which I won't be using! Give small sun at first and then normal sun later, because they start off small and then they grow bigger. But that's too bad, I'm not going to be using them. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, you've collected 320 in coins so far. When you collect 750, I'll sell you something really neato. Well, we'll see about that. Oh gosh, they're just cutting straight to the chase, aren't they? In addition to these newspaper zombies that go all fast and stuff when they get mad, and already having conehead zombies, we also have a bucket head. Ah, uh, I think we're going to be uh, losing some lawn mowers here. So let's get our only lines of defense and then some extras for the heck of it. But yeah, I like to go to car shows and watch and go look at all the cars. The new cars, the old cars, the whole shebang. Uh, one thing I really like is that the newer... Camaros and uh, Mustangs and what was the third one? Uh, Dodge Challengers. All three of them look a lot like the old ones now, the new ones do. And that's why I like them, because they decided to go with the classic look and I think that they look great. It's classic, old-fashioned old look, but with new edge to it. It's like, I, I just love it. I'm an artist, so like, I guess to me, cars are artistically appealing. And to confess, I like to go fast. I really like to drive really fast. Uh, I like to watch certain types of races. I was in a NASCAR for a while, uh, but mostly because of Dale Earnhardt. And ever since he died, the sport just hasn't been the same. No one can really see the wind like he could. And his son is... Uh, I don't really like him that much. His successor, uh, number 29, uh, I forget his name. Uh, he was okay. He, he was pretty skilled. You know, He picked a good guy to succeed him. But... Oh, uh, yep. With, for these coneheads, you definitely want to have at least three puffer shrooms in the lane. But, uh, but yeah, the sport just hasn't been the same without Earnhardt, and I kind of lost interest in it after that. Uh, but I like, like, super modified races, uh, which I've hardly gotten to see, but when I have, they've always been live action right at the track. Uh, I kind of like Indy, but it scares me too much. The open wheels... It, it looks like too much of a hazard to me. Uh-oh. Cone dude. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. There we go. But, uh... Yeah, he's a fast one. So we want... We want as many as we can on him. Uh... But yeah, I, I need to go watch some more races some more, because that's fun stuff. I really liked uh, sitting at the track in the evenings, and as it turned nighttime, the lights would be reflecting off of the black cars, and it would just, it just looked really cool. I also have a soft spot for rickety rust bucket trucks. <laughs> uh, as in like, uh, you know, pickup trucks. I, I guess it's because as a kid, sometimes dad would take us places in his big old rust bucket truck that was all hard to climb into. And there were cracks in the seat that made him pinch your legs. And like there was dust and stuff and debris in the... Uh, uh, now see this flag zombie? I customized him. It's me. Spiky hair, eyelashes, and, and spiky collar. <laughs> 
It's a creature zombitar thing that comes with the uh, uh, advanced version of this game. Uh, but anyway, uh, about the trucks. Uh, it had like debris in the uh, air vents, so it would get in your eyes whenever you turned on the vents. The seats were uncomfortable. Uh, the gear shifter was, uh, like, up the- up, up, I should have put it there, I didn't notice this guy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take him or not, honestly. Let's do this. Let's try to take this guy. I don't want to lose a mower this early. It's only 2-2, two -two, man. Come on. Uh, the gear shifter was in the middle, so it we it was like between my ankles, so I had to like have my legs spread out so Dad could shift the gears, and it was super uncomfortable and stuff. But it was like I don't know. I I got to spend time with Dad, uh, sitting in that old crappy truck, and we'd uh, go places together, go to store and stuff go to car shows. So even though it was the most uncomfortable truck in the world, it was still really fun. Uh, and that thing could go absolutely sideways on hills. I'm telling you, the, it was a Toyota of some sort. It could really, really uh, take those hills and go sideways and diagonal and everywhere and not even feel like it's starting to tip over. It was spectacular. Really, really, really cool truck. So yeah, it's like, you know, bad memories. Even though it was a rust bucket. Come on, defenses! Hold! Hold! Okay, we might be able to take this in. Yes. That was rough, though. Sheesh. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's it's already gotten pretty tough. Yep. All we have is the puffer shrooms here. Normally, uh, we'd have the sun shrooms set up here, and we would have been affording regular pea shooters and stuff long ago, and had them shooting across the rows and fortifying the current defenses. But, uh, nope, we're just going with our little freebies here. And yes, I know they get eaten right away, but it at least holds them back a little, slows them down and distracts them. And strategizing like this sometimes makes me feel like I'm in the military. <laughs> But, uh, I actually wanted to be in the military when I was younger. I was gonna be in the army. Uh, this top lane, gonna lose it. I already just won't bother with it right now. Yeah, we were too busy fortifying this row, and I kind of overdid it and let this row go a little too much. Let's get these other ones built back up. We're nearing the final wave. After this guy will be the final wave of this round. I should have put it here! Ah, I'm derping like crazy here! There's my Zombitar! <laughs> yeah, they don't change the clothing, even if you change the Zombitar's clothing. Okay, this row will be okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. They are, there's so many of these zombies here. I don't know. Let's see. Lane, I don't know, because they're both there together. They're gonna eat through them quick. Oh, did we get the other zombie? Looks like it. Let's try our best. 
try our best. We can do it. We can get him. Come on, puffer shrooms. Yeah. Now we're going to get these, which in the normal games are awesome. But in this one, once again, we won't be able to afford this fume shroom. Shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. That's important because these screen door zombies you'll see are uh, quite a nuisance. They hold it in front of them like a shield, and it takes a lot of hits. But this is all we're getting. Boof, boof. Let's just put this guy for decoration. And these two. Doop, doop, yep. But yeah, I uh, wanted to join the military as a kid, as a teenager, because uh, I just wanted to be tough, and, and I was always doing everything that I could think of to toughen myself up, and uh, I figured I could take it. Uh, I was in sh such good shape. You know, right now I'm all weak and sick and, and tired and stuff, but at age 14... I was able to pass all of the adult men's, not women's, men's tests to get into the military, except for running the mile. I, I, uh, my time on that was too long. I didn't have the endurance. But all the push-ups, sit-ups, I did men's versions of push-ups and sit-ups. I didn't do the, the wussy ladies versions, which I don't get why they have those, because women can do those things just fine if they're in shape. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I started running laps around my house all the time, trying to get my endurance and speed up, and, and by age 16, I could do it. And, uh... But then I changed my mind because I realized that, you know, I researched how the training was and it looked like so rigorous and so unforgiving for such a long period of time. And I saw movies like G.I. Jane and stuff and, and oh my gosh. And, uh... People who have been in the military or are in the military, I can see something different about their eyes. Their, their eyes look almost look like they've had something stolen from them. I, I didn't want to have eyes like that. You know, all the more reason to respect people who go through all that, you know? So, I, I just, I didn't want to change. I liked who I was. And I realized that if I was in the army, then I probably would change. Uh, so, that is why I decided, nah, that's not for me. These screen door guys, they're tough. Look at him, he's, oh, oh there, now we got him. Barreling through my dudes. Uh oh. Gotta get another shroom down. Phew. Oh, we need another one here too. Get him, get him, get him. I should have probably put it down over here instead. See, I'm noticing my mistakes. I just wish that I would think of them beforehand. I'm such a derp. Oh yeah, notice the uh, uh, gravestone says expired. Yeah, some of them are pretty silly. I like it. Get him, get him. not sure what dictates the coins coming out. They seem to come if you have... if something is newly placed and kills a zombie or something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. This, this is pretty bad. This lane here and this lane here are, are kind of in... well, especially this one are kind of in dire straits. Here. 
here, keep an eye on this lane, and I think we're good. Okay, you just need to keep replacing them. As much as we can. Got him. I love these guys. Just I won't be able to use them. Grave Buster. Planted on a grave to remove the grave. It's neat. They just chew up the grave and and I love their noble eyes. Like it it it, it just he's like a tough, cool plant. Well, this is probably good enough for now. Um and we'll continue next time. See you later, broskies!